they took a lot of liberties with the source material. I'm a bit late getting to the review on this, you guys, but I had a good excuse. I had a good reason for it. I got the kafufu, and that just threw a huge hitch in our plans. Almost our entire family got it. So my plans to go see this on Thursday night previews just completely fell through. But I did get a chance to see it yesterday. Yeah, yesterday I got a chance to see it. And I was, I was eager <clears throat> because... I'd read the book that this was based on. I'd heard when I first found out about this movie, it sounded really, it was intriguing to me. So I found the book and I was able to listen to it. And I really enjoyed the book. It wasn't the most spectacular thing I'd ever read, but I thought it was pretty well plotted. The characters were interesting. There were all these different viewpoints and perspectives. And I was really curious to see how it was going to translate into movie form. Sorry, I thought someone was coming. I, I was curious to see how it was going to translate into motion picture form. And then I, I found out about the casting. And of course, they. this is a book that was originally in Japanese. It was translated into English. And when they brought it over here, they, they adapted it, changed things for American audiences. Even though the story still takes place in, Jap in Japan, on the bullet train, I think it's called the I can't remember the name for the bullet train. They mention it several times in the book. Anyway, so they, they've done race swaps. They've done gender swaps. All of that stuff. And I, I get it to a point because they were, you know, they're Americanizing it. They're also Hollywoodizing it. And by Hollywoodizing it, I mean, there's a lot of big explosions and stuff that happen in this movie that did not happen in the book. There's a scene in the trailer where he's hanging outside the the train. And there's also a scene later where there's collision. This is nothing that goes on at all in the book. I feel like those aspects of it were unnecessary, to be honest. I don't I don't think they needed to go, especially because some of these big bangy type things that happened were so unrealistic and it was just you know nobody can jump on a bullet train you guys and not fall off especially when there's nothing really good to hang on to see that kind of stuff and that bothered me a bit about it but in general the film itself is quite enjoyable and um i i don't hold on sorry jimmy wants to get down Despite all that, the film itself was quite enjoyable. The bare bones of the, the uh, not the bare bones, the, the, the core, the foundation of the story, the characters and some of their, and, and their backstories for the most part remains intact, but they do make several changes with some stuff going on with the organized mob family that a, a lot of these um, characters revolve around. So if you don't know, the premise of the story is these different assassins get on the, um, this, the bullet train and they, uh, they all have this job they're supposed to do. And, and they find out through the course of the story that their, their paths are interconnected, that their, their jobs are somehow connected to each other. And there's a lot of mayhem that happens as a result. Now in the book, the characters had different, um, well, one character in particular, one of the, one of the really bad characters in, in the story had a completely different motivation in, uh, this book, they change, they, they do a race swap. It's that one right there. They do a race swap. I'm um, not a race swap. Well, they do a race swap because the character is, is Japanese in the book, but also it's a boy. It's like a middle schooler. And so they also completely changed that character's motivations, the reason for why they were doing what they were doing. In the book, it, his character was just uh, like he was just there kind of seizing on the opportunity to take advantage of all this stuff that was happening and just trying to throw things into the mix to just see what was going to happen, how the adults around him were going to behave. In the movie, there's a completely different motivation at play. In the book, 
I really hated this character a lot. I don't like this character either in, in, the, uh, in the movie. You're not supposed to. But in the book, this character seemed so much more nefarious and just absolutely awful. And I, it was because of the way he was written. And also because he just was getting away with everything. Like this little shit of a teenager was somehow able to just outsmart all the adults around him and all this stuff was happening and everything was going his way. And it was, it was kind of annoying, but, but it, he was a well-written character in that I hated his guts and I, I wanted him to die. I didn't care if he was a teenager. He was awful. He was evil. And the same sort of holds true in here, but like I said, completely different character motivation. Also, the, the story about the mob family, that's all different. The story about uh, the father of one of the characters, that's completely different how, how it was written. And, I, you know, I guess if I just t I could take this movie as a completely separate entity from the book, because there's been so much that's changed, even though a lot of the core stuff is still there, there's been so much that's changed. It almost feels like a, a, a completely different story, especially when you get into the action-y and the explosions and the jumping on moving bullet trains. I mean, come on. So stuff like that. It was enjoyable, but I think I, I had in my head certain things from the book that I felt like should be translated into this, and it was done in a completely different way. And I put many months between listening to the book and watching this movie, but even so, I still remembered a lot of the, the main things that were happening and seeing it changed about. Parts of that were a kind of aggravating, but at the same time, this story in itself, if I didn't know anything about the original story, I would really enjoy this movie by itself. This film is quite comedic. It's, it, I would say it's almost like a black comedy, but really it's, it, it doesn't feel as, as dark as a black comedy. Like it doesn't feel as, it doesn't, I don't know, maybe like a Heather's, that's a black comedy, but Heather's feels a little bit more doom and gloom and oppressive than this did. There's a lot of action in here. There's a lot of really good dialogue in here. There's these two characters in here. They call themselves twins. It's the, uh, um, it, it'll come back around. It's the white guy and the black guy standing next to each other. Aaron Taylor Johnson and the, the guy, oh, I don't remember the other guy's name. I've seen him in things. I thought he played in Joker. I thought he was the dude at the aside. That those two right there. They call themselves twins. And their banter with each other was really well done. It was very well acted. And it was really a joy to watch both of them on screen. Now, Brad Pitt also, he did a great job as usual. Everybody in here did a really good job. Brad Pitt was, he was. He's the central character and he has all this terrible bad luck and he's, while he's an assassin doing these different sort of hit job types of things, he's very philosophical and he just wants there to be peace between people and it's just like it does not fit with his job occupation. It's just job occupation, well it's occupation, whatever, that's redundant. It doesn't fit with what he does and you kind of feel like, dude, Maybe you should be in a completely different line of work. <laughs> and, and anyway, just the whole time he's he's on this mission, he's also trying to keep from hurting people. And then even though he tries to keep from hurting people, people still end up dying around. <laughs> it's really funny the way it's carried off. And even though there's all these changes that have been made, the movie by itself is enjoyable. I'm not exactly sure why the critics hated on it so much. Maybe it was because it was a bit too over the top with some of the stuff I was talking about, you know, like jumping on a train, big, huge crashes, um, fly, you know, hanging out the side of the train, things like that. But if you, if you, if you kind of go into this, not really taking this film seriously, then it's, it's easy to kind of just, ah, uh, you know, whatever. But I guess maybe official critics would, you know, things like that. They maybe they wouldn't like that. I, I honestly don't. <clears throat> I'm not sure. All I knew was that the official critic ratings were in the rotten territory. But I think the audiences enjoyed this um, quite a bit. And you can see why. It was fun. And it's certainly something that I would watch again because of the dialogue and the acting and the ensemble cast. There were several, just many, many well-established names in this movie. There were also some cameos that were kind of cool that showed up. And I don't want to say what they are 
to 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 ruin them for you they don't last super long one in particular is super super brief like maybe a second but it was funny because it was unexpected but in general it's a fun film fun dialogue like i've said uh fun action very well put together for the most part as far as you know the choreography and the editing and the cinematography it, it it's it's enjoyable and I do recommend it if you like these kinds of things. Don't go into it expecting a ton of realism, okay? And then if if you go into it with that mindset, then maybe you won't be too bogged down by, there was just no way that could happen, those sorts of things. I was, I was certainly feeling that as I was watching it. And I think also because I kept, I'm still, or I was still at the time, and I kind of still am, comparing it to the book. So maybe try not to to let that interfere too much with your enjoyment of the movie i kind of feel like the movie is self-aware and isn't taking itself seriously and while i wasn't super super crazy about some of the changes they made it was not enough to detract from my overall enjoyment of the film and so i think if you're into this genre this type of thing you'll probably enjoy it and maybe you won't i don't know if you don't let me know if you do let me know but i was wanting to at least get this review out wanted to talk about it because it was on my top 10 anticipated films for the year and i have to say it, it really it didn't disappoint too much despite some of the other stuff you know it it was enjoyable i certainly don't regret watching it and i do plan to add this to my collection so wasn't a complete waste of time at all and um yeah i think that's it i think i've gone through i didn't i didn't have a ton of notes for it actually i was kind of caught up in the stuff that was going on and the dialogue and the character interactions and that that was really enjoyable too so okay well i think that's it I'm gonna wrap it up we'll see you guys later adios mm -hmm.